Hello, my I choose shakers and movers. I actually made three videos in one day because this is my break from paperwork. If I keep doing paperwork, my brain would. So I have to take a break. So still in my office, this is the final one of the day and I'll post them, I'll stagnate them so it's not overwhelming or just too much information. Um, I wanted to do a video on offended or being offensive um, or taking offense. Um, this is something that I hear a lot of people say, well, you know, I'm offended and I didn't like that and blah, 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 blah. And I wanted to help you with this state or mindset of being offended. I wanted to share with you on how you know, um, detrimental it is to your growth, um, the process of growth. Okay, so I remember one day I was sitting there and I was saying, you know, I was offended. Um, and then all of a sudden, I said it slow and I said, offense. Say, why does offense sound like a, a fence? Like the thing you build around your house to keep people out and when you come in to keep you in until you choose to go out again. But it does, it sounds like a big old fence. So something about a fence is, or offense, is when you decide to allow yourself to be offended, which is just another word for aggravation, um, um, resentment, or annoyance, when you decide to allow yourself to walk in that area of offense, you literally, listen carefully, I'm gonna help you. You literally build a fence around yourself. And well, not literally, but figuratively, build the fence around yourself. Now what you do literally is keep people out and keep you in until you make a decision to leave that space. Now, what do I mean by keeping people out? I'm not talking about literally keeping them out. I'm talking about figuratively. So physically, you're not keeping them out. But in every other aspect of the human makeup, you're keeping them out. So while they're trying to talk to you and they're trying to give you a different point of view or allow or help you look through a different scope, you have built a fence, AKA got offended, and you will not hear them. So they can't come in without your permission. They can't help you grow in this area that you have allowed yourself to literally die in, right? So the Bible says, for those who are believers, I am a believer, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. That is not a literal death, so to speak, but it's perishing in whatever area that you lack the knowledge. So this message is for not everybody. It was for me until I learned. So if it's for you, please take it. And if not, send it to someone else. Um, it's all about helping one another grow. Um, so if, you, if this is one of your areas of deficiency, one of your weak areas where you are easily offended, then you need to do a self check and ask yourself, why am I building a fence around me? Who the sun set free is free indeed. But let's just say you're not a believer. You are free. You're not in prison. Why would you intentionally get offended and build a fence around yourself? Not very smart, right? So my challenge for you is to be very aware of your level of annoyance, resentment, um, towards someone because that is all the makeup of being offended and when you are offended you can no longer grow because you're stuck behind that fence and you don't want to move and you don't even realize that you put yourself in a prison and you don't even realize that someone else may be a bit stronger in that area and all they're trying to do is help you so I say destroy the fence Allow the person, your partner or your friend that is trying to get you to see through a different scope, allow them access in so that you can hear them, right? Because then you'll find out you built a bridge and broke it up for no reason at all. You guys aren't getting along. 
because you want to stay offended. Ask me how I know. No, go ahead. Ask me how I know. Because I stayed offended. So that meant I had one perception. I had one outlook, which is a part of pride. So I am so grateful that the Lord allowed me another day and another day and another day to get it right. So now I'm growing so I don't get offended. I may get agitated and then I catch myself and say, Roz, are you willing to build this fence? Are you willing to stay behind this fence, not allowing anyone in and not giving yourself permission to come out, to be able to see things different? And then I quickly check myself. So my challenge is for you to be aware of what you're building around yourself because it creates stagnation in your growth. And the whole purpose of living this beautiful life in its fullness is to constantly grow, constantly grow. So let's challenge each other to grow. Let's challenge each other. If you've already built a fence and you've gotten offended, tear that fence up, burn it down to the ground. Allow someone that may be stronger in the area to give you a different scope. It doesn't mean that you have to agree with them. It just means that you have another way of looking at something. And how beautiful is that? This world is colorful, is big, is is great. Don't get stuck in one way. All right? So that's our challenge. I hope this helped you. And if it didn't, like I said, give it to somebody else. Until next time, stay free.